So we have a theorem here, all rational functions are continuous for all x in the functions domain. And you can't just say all x in the real numbers because rational functions, we have our first example here on the screen, rational functions, not all of them, but most of them have x values where you would be dividing by zero. So for rational functions, the domain is generally not all real numbers. So here is our example function. Where is r of x continuous? So using that theorem, it's continuous for all x in the function's domain. And this is for rational functions. So we just have to figure it out. Here I could either figure out what x values are in the domain, or it's easier to figure out the bad x values which are not in the domain. All right, bad x value is not in the domain. We're gonna set the denominator equal to zero. This denominator is already factored. Your problem, this might be multiplied together and you'd have to factor it out. But this one's already factored, so algebraically there's really nothing to do. You'd have the zero product property, so either this is zero or this is zero. And x equals positive 2, or x equals negative 3. Now again, we were looking for the bad x values. So the good x values are any x values that are not these. So take out negative 3, take out positive 2. And there's three intervals here. So it's negative infinity, comma, negative three. Negative three, comma, positive two. Positive two, comma, positive infinity. So this is the domain of the function. And these will be all the x values this function is continuous for. And remember, because it's a rational function, rational functions are continuous for all x values in their domain.